Ever had a doctor that made a bad situation even worse? They rush you in, they make you uneasy or uncomfortable, or you just couldn't meet them on an emotional level. Well, not being able to communicate well with your doctor can actually be more than annoying. It can impact your health. The Fox Medical Team's Kevin Stewart explains why some say bedside manner is a growing problem. Clayton County's Michael Allen is back in rhythm. The drummer has battled back from something called clonus, uncontrollable rhythmic muscle switching with a numbness running down his leg. I think on my 42-year-old body, uh, finally kind of caught up with me and uh, caused some, essentially what was herniation of two discs. The first doctor he went to made him uneasy and left him less than confident in that doctor. The bedside manner was, wasn't very engaging, kind of like, Oh Lord. So he turned to Dr. Scott Kelly at Resurgence. Great bedside manner. I mean, he and I were able to talk about traveling and sports. Dr. Kelly has written this book, What I've Learned From You. He admits many doctors need to do a better job, spend more time with patients, and listen. And I think that, you know, by listening to Michael, we were able to determine exactly where the problem was originating from prior to even looking at the imaging studies. Dr. Kelly believes medical pros are being pulled in many different directions these days on top of an increased patient load. As physician reimbursement declines, but the cost of practicing medicine continues to rise, they're forced to see more patients. And spend less time with them. Fortunately, that wasn't the case with Alan. Listening may have made all the difference in the world. It really it took a load off my shoulders. Now, med students are taught bedside manner, and there are calls for even more training. Dr. Kelly points out there are studies that show doctors can improve their bedside manner by doing simple things like looking patients in the eye and sitting in front of them instead of standing. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Kevin Stewart.